This is like one of those things where it's like you got to do a mission to progress to the next chapter of the game, but most likely the open world will come back as soon as we finish the chapter. It's one of those kind of things. That's what it feels like. We're going to find out. It's all right. My severed hand will save me from all. That's all there is to it. The music is very James Bond all of a sudden. Oh, I just assassinated a fool with a severed hand. What you know about dad, dog? You know nothing, Jon Snow. Can I change outfits in this video game? I certainly hope so. I've been waiting, but I think we're still pretty early on in the game to where that's not available yet. And if it is, well, I haven't found it yet. Dude, that stealthy assassination, though. Anyway, what do we have here? Ammo! Thank you. That made a lot of noise. Alright, well, we'll stay stealthy for a minute. a human. I'm not trying to kill a human. I'm just trying to eat his blood. Alright, well, I don't know what we're doing outside here. But it seems fine. Hmm. Yo, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Fox is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in. Some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe tense he heard something. Like what? Like I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. And someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. He hears you. All right. So, it's just a couple of dudes up, uh, talking shit, and they're up to no good. All right. Well, I'm gonna ignore them then. I'm going to go back through here real quick. I'm wondering if I can go through this door. There's a dude there. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy. Sneaky deaky. I don't know why I'm trying to be sneaky. I usually don't give a fuck, but, you know, I'm trying. Got him. Got him. Sneaky deek. Uh, you don't need to die. Sneaky deek. Uh, motherfucker. Uh. Anyways, there are more dudes out here besides those other two guys? Probably. Anyway, so far we're uh, looking pretty good. Knocked out two fellows without even having to fight. Sucked some blood out of some human. Just don't know where more of these fuckers are gonna be at. I don't want to start get standing up and running around, start alerting people if I don't have to. Might as well stay sneaky as long as I can before I inevitably fuck it all up. But anyway, yes, sucking the blood out of humans does not turn them into vampires. It's kind of the opposite in this in this this little universe we got set up here. To turn things into vampires, they have to suck your blood. That's kind of how it works. 
Oh, this was worth it. There's a box back here. Got some 12 gauge. Yo, I have a 12 gauge from that fucking diner encounter. That's basically always been true. Well, you know what? Don't correct me on vampire fucking lore when it's not even real, bro. Uh, but I see how it's always been. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's also actually how it always, ha always hasn't been because it's not real. Common misconception with vampires is you suck their, they suck your blood, you become them. Can I suck this guy's blood again? Because I wouldn't mind. Just don't kill him. Ah, oh, damn it, he's dead. Oh well. Whatever. Not the first time I killed somebody, and it won't be the last. Thought maybe he was his blood might have he might have got some blood back, you know? Apparently not. I didn't lose humanity, you're right. Cause he was a worthless human. A dirty, worthless human. I mean it did have the assassination like option. Alright, well I guess I gotta take these fuckers out or sneak by them, and well. I don't mind slapping a couple fools. They don't really want none, dude. Ready and hut! Oh, come on. I went for the one that had the damn fucking tire iron is what I did. Oh my god, I'm getting knocked around. Alright. Keep... Mouse. Alright, mouse. Ow. Okay, so they both have guns and... Fire irons, apparently. Dude, joystick. Joystick. I keep calling it a joystick. Mouse stick! Dude, he's blocking all of my shit. Um, okay. Oh, I'm dead. Serpentine patterns! Jesus. Alright, well that didn't go well. Maybe I should use guns. What do you guys think? <sighs> we'll go guns. I'm let my health replenish a bit before I worry about it. Should have blood buffed. That's what I should have done. Oh, right, I can turn invisible and shit. I got, like, other abilities and shit. I haven't been using, like, any of them. Auspects, dementation, dementation, hallucination. Man, I forgot about all this shit. All right. First of all, I'm going to kill this guy because he knows I'm here already. He said, what was that? Where you going, man? Oh. Oh. Woo, that motherfucker got some hands on him. Dude, that guy, that guy got fucking kicked. Uh, he must have a weapon I already have. Okay. Okay, well that wasn't how I kind of imagined it, but that's cool. Yeah, that's just a tire iron or whatever. You know, fucking, this is like the fastest way to whoop somebody's ass. Just use your fist, bro. I will take your ammo. I don't know who's ringing the bell. But I don't like it. See another dude all the way down there. Okay, so I guess that's...
just gonna keep looking around. You never know what kind of shit you might find. Like whatever the hell it is I just picked up there. It didn't even tell me what I picked up. Picked up something though. We got a train situation over here, over here. What's going on up, up here? Oh, there's a dude there. Holy shit. Yo. You ready to assassinate this fucker? Probably gonna fuck it up, but that's okay. Where you going? Ah! Well. Where are you going? Why am I still crouched? Ow! 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 Piece of shit. How dare you. I don't really know if I'm supposed to kill everything here, but whatever. Dude, don't be hating on the jumping in this game. It's the best. <laughs> the jumping in this game is kind of absurd. Yo, we can Assassin's Creed some fucks from up here. Can't go down this way. It's boo boo. There's one, two, three guys. Dang, four guys. Holy crap! There's a lot of guys in here. Uh, huh. I wonder if this is where I should start using some of my abilities, like this one. Mass hallucination is good for when I'm surrounded. Okay, so that's a temporary thing. There hasn't been an autosave in a while? That's fine. being ooh, there's a couple dudes right there I might have to blast some fools with a shotgun or no we could try out the we could you know what we can try out the uh, the 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 uh, the hallucination where's that hysteria let's try that again Fuck you. Sorry, my fist did all the tuck. Didn't even make him pull out a gun. Ooh. Oh, this is where we're arming the explosive. Yo, we're in there. Let's go. Explosive armed. Oh shit, I got three minutes. Oh shit. Whatever. Just fucking beat him, beat him up. Dude, beating him up with a fist is like so fast. And it works really well. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, shotgun. Woo! Woo! Mama! 
There goes that man. What the fuck? What the fuck is this guy? Oh, shit. Dude, who was that guy? Well then. I don't know who that guy was, but he whooped my ass. Alright. I think the last autosave was probably when I started that mission. That's okay. Indeed. And that is perfectly okay. Now that I know where all the dudes are at, let's just... At least all the dudes in the current, you know, situation. Dude, we already, we already have the weapon. Let me fucking... Take it. Alright. What else was in here? Is there anything else in here? I just know that there's... Another dude through here. I assassinated him. Am I able to play the whole game stealthily? If you're good enough, which I am not. That should come as no surprise for those of you who are veterans of my channel. Stealth has never been my uh, my go-to skill set. And I wouldn't even say it's a patience thing. It's more just like it takes too long. So I'd rather just... I guess that's a patience thing, isn't it? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna feed on this guy to death. I'm just gonna eat him to death. I want all his blood. I want to suck your blood until you are dead. Yo, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Fox is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in. Some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get. Hey, stop, man! Hey, stop, man! Dude, the fists work way better than weapons. I should never use a weapon again. Ever in my life. If you spec into your stealth, you can just run past everything, but that's more of a second playthrough thing. Oh, I see. If I just used all of my stat spe specs up into my stealth, I could have just been sneaking through everything. Well, again, not necessarily my forte, let alone, I find that to be not that fun, honestly. Stealth has never been that fun to me. Like, to do some stealth stuff is fun, and it feels cool sometimes, but in general, I've never felt like I need to do stealth on all the things, you know? Here I come. Ooh, motherfucker got socked. Damn. Motherfucker got fucked up. That bitch got fucked up. Alright. I'm still going in the same way. That was a nice little sneaky way to get in. I'm just going to be more methodical 
about getting out. Because getting in... I, I, getting out, I just started running like a madman. So I came in from this way. I don't think if I can come back up here. That's one problem I have. I was, I don't... Is there a ladder right here? There's not a ladder. So I have to find another way out. So what if I come back through the way I came, jump out that way, and then just run? Am I, am I supposed to go the way I came in? You have located... Uh, your next step is to blow up the warehouse and plant, and without killing anyone if possible? Yeah, okay, that's working out well for me. Oh, what the fuck? Who's seen me? What? Back the fuck up. I'm trying to open the door. You piece of shit. Well, this is fair. God damn it. Well, I guess we're gonna we're not going in fucking stealthy this time. I should say when I say going in, I mean when I'm not planning anything stealthily. We ain't letting nobody live now. Fuck, he was ready. Bitch, you better stop fucking fucking around, dog. Anyway, this is where we need to plant the thing, but there's still dudes looking around for me right now. I know there's a dude on the side of that wall. I know he's there. Can I unlock this shit? Let's see if I can. Is it good enough? Is I good enough? Nope. I have failed. What level? Level four? Um, you know what? Let's see what we got. I could open that. The way out is where I died last time, so I was going the right way to get out of here. I knew there was a guy there. Damn, dude, I fucked that guy up. There is hella dudes up in here. God damn. Dude, how does he fucking react so fast? Get up, bitch! So I was trying to do is kill him so I could just come back in and hide. Tire iron, okay. Ah, <sighs> well, there goes any chance of doing this the way I did it last time. That's whatever. I'll murder all these fuckers if I have to. Don't think I won't. I'm gonna plant this shit and I'm gonna go. Hold on. Doesn't say where to go. This is the funky way I do things, anyways. And true statement. Ah, come on, man. I'm just trying to go out the door. I'll fight you out here if you want to fight. You want to fucking throw hands, bro? Ooh, get it. Get it! Oof. Oh, he got fucked up. That fucking combo right there was like 20, 20, 20, baby! Where the hell am I going, though? Am I going the right way to get out of here? I have no idea. Is this the right way? What level is that? Six? That's pretty high. I'm not going to worry about that, then. What is this? Uh, I can't even seem to... Oh, I bet you it blows up if I shoot it. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, hello. Damn it. 
Damn it. Get out of here, you fuck. Oh, he's not dead. Now he's dead. That's right. He has to fucking disappear. Okay, this is this is has to be the right way. It's got to be the right way. Don't worry about it. I'm guessing I just have to go back the way I came. That's where that's where this is going. Oh yeah, it blew up, so we're good. Oh, werewolf or werewolf? It's just a wolf, but he's becoming a person, so it is a werewolf. Warehouse. Your handiwork, I presume. I know not of what you speak, sir. It wasn't me. It was my evil twin. Didn't you see the goatee? <laughs> Explosions always remind me of my childhood. I like to blow things up. Have you ever been exploded? Ah, werewolf! <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with the third one, because that's just snarky and funny. You're new to this life, aren't you? I'd wager you haven't insulted some of the older ones yet. But this is a city of opportunity. Okay, are you the big bad wolf? Friend, foe, duck, duck, or goose? You, werewolf? <laughs> I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Okay. Tell me. Have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? Many, many things. I see dead people. On the beach, their blood was thinner than water. The Baron's sister is herself. Two minds, one face. <laughs> strange? <laughs> no. Most of my contacts here report That's what I said, by the something way. unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Perhaps. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Eh. Goodbye, wolf. Thanks for the memories. Is that, is that it? Oh. It's fading out. Well, guys, I guess we finished up our first main story mission that was like, uh, yeah. Didn't quite go as stealthily as probably should have, but who cares? Fuck them. Okay, now what? Nice work, Cupcake. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, do you know of Beckett the Noble Savage? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? Uh, we traded words. The Dark Voices told me he was near. We traded words. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. Um, I seek to pull questions from your bubbling dome. What do you need? I made an acquaintance of your golden ghoul. I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be to help. Uh, it festered in your own brain that I would? I knew you would. I had him watching you-know-who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through her joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. Well then, he played unawares. Come on, fledgling, don't ever think you're ahead of the ball in this game. No matter what action you take, some kindred you never even met already foresaw it and found a way to profit from it. Well, then fuck you. Anyway, he spilled his secrets like a child. Oh, shit. 
Your scheme was laid bare before me. Huh. <laughs> well, savor the flavor, fledgling. It was accomplished regardless of your play. Thanks. You helped me get rid of a spy without revealing myself. Or getting my hands dirty. Well, then you're welcome. You know of people, tell me. Sure. Tell me of the Chester Prince. Chester? You call him LaCroix? A Chester? Uh, you'd uh, better watch that, Fletchling. Anyway, what am I gonna say? Uh, he's the boss now. Uh, sh uh show my shine, sure. shine some lights. Lay bare the Bruja. They're a bunch of malcontents. This guy knows a lot they about get stuff. get pumped up by rousing the rabble they keep around them. Like, that's hard. Nothing breeds faster than contempt. And that's what the Bruja are all about. Jealousy and contempt. Bunch of Bruja-has. Anyway, can you open my eyes to the sex? Yeah. Um, what appraisal of the Anarchs? The Anarchs. Yeah, I respect what they do, strenuous liberty and all that jazz, but they're kidding themselves. Wherever there's an ounce of power to be had, there'll be people dicking each other over. You think the Camarilla invented that? No idea. What do you know of the one with a number of your for a number four name? From what I hear, he's a likable sort, and that's a problem. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side, and more kindred go anarch every day because of him. I need someone with my mind's eye. Sure. Chester. Uh, shine light on the clans. Sure. Tell me about the goods on Green Grill. Well, they fancy themselves loners and drifters running around the countryside and barking at the moon. <laughs> it's all just an act. Gangrel can walk upright. They just choose not to. Okay. Sure. What about the Mal Malkavians? That's me. Malkavians are, uh... Interesting. There's something to them. Learning to sort the wisdom from the bullshit can be some work, and uh, not all of them are worth listening to, but uh, they're all good fun, if you ask me. You better say that, bitch. Anyway, fun like the dark daughter of Janice? Janice's daughter? What the... Oh, Janice. The two-faced god. You mean Therese Vorman. Oh man, you Malkavians are really messed up. Anyway, that was just silly vampire politicking fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. Okay. To my ears it sounded like a devilish dogfight. The dark daughter of Janice wanted you to swim the dark waters. Did you know that Janice's daughter shared the same skin? Uh, I'm gonna go with the second one. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla has moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. Cool. Is the task beyond your nasty self? I wouldn't want to be the Prince of Terra Haute. I leave that headache to the Ventru. Besides, there's only like four vampires in all of Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Some kingdom. There's only like four vampires here anyway. Did you know they shared the same skin? Uh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen, but a pain in my dead ass for sure. Okay. Do you have anything else I can learn like from you, what? sir? Uh. Do you know things about someone that I do not? Sure. Oh, I'm gone. You better get back downtown. Prince Lacroix is gonna want to hear all about this victory. All right. The yellow submarine is waiting. All right. Well then, I guess we made some progress, guys. And now I need to suck somebody's blood, for I have none. <sighs> okay. Any, anybody uh, down here I can eat for dinner? Ooh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Not a lot of not a lot in there, but I'll take it. Also, whoop. and while we're at it, I'll probably grab this other guy. Cause he all alone now too. Oh, 
Alright. Looking pretty good. Three hobos. Got my thing about eh, almost halfway. A little less than half. That's fine. I'll take it. Okay. I guess it's just less people wandering around when it's raining, so that works out alright. Okay. Ooh, somebody gonna go down in the alleyway that can help me out? Anybody? Not you, copper. Oh, the yellow submarine. There's a taxi here. Oh, I bet you that can take me to the new area. Right, before I do anything. Warehouse mostly lies at the bottom of the Pacific with a few pieces. Uh -huh. Report to LaCroix at the Venture Tower downtown. So that's probably means I got to use the I got to use the the taxi to get there. Uh well, it's not really much else for me to do around here other than trying to figure out some of the other side quests. So I guess I'm just going to do it. Let's just hit up the fucking thing and do it. Do I have to talk to the driver? Where to? Not here. Change my scene. Get this big yellow beetle scuttling towards my destiny. Why am I talking to you? I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to go with that. Oh, wow. Okay, so we need to go... Well, we don't have any options other than downtown. So let's go downtown. Things will be great when I'm downtown. And we me waiting for you. Oh, come on. Talk about spoiling it, Frosithis. Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, lick. <laughs> My glass eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. Camarilla, fuck. Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? Granada, bitch. Ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with a sabat and lives. Keep moving. Keep moving. The trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. <laughs> Got him. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. What's up, Nines? I was about to destroy him! What happened to one through eight? <laughs> I like that. Also, yes, this is a Malkavian Blind Play through Hazmat Prime. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? Want me to go get him? Um, uh, he he, get who? Round two fight? Um, round two fight! You do what you want. Me? I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. Uh, I like stories. If my wandering brings me there, so be it. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Uh, maybe. Or maybe not. Okay, well. We met that guy. <laughs> and here I thought downtown was going to be different. I was wrong. I got bashed in the head with a baseball bat right when I got there. Some bullshit. Uh, anyway. I guess we're now downtown. We made it. All right, welcome. Welcome to a new place. Place looks pretty big. What's up, girl? Hey, honey. Looking for a date? Kinda. Uh, affirmative. Mm. Let's go somewhere. Cost 50 more. bucks! Intimate. You lead the way. Oh, that. Mm, walk this way, please. Uh, hey, need a date? Yeah, I guess. 
I didn't know it cost 50 bucks. This is the first time I actually did this, but fucking 50 bucks, really? Oh, what? Come on! That's bullshit. Aw, oh, man. Now the cops are after me. God damn it. I paid for I paid 50 bucks for that shit. You will come back here. Although who are the guys in the hazmat suits. You know what? I paid for that shit. I'm drinking that shit. I paid for that. Alright. I got what I paid for, fucking asshole. Is a good blood sack. I agree. Also, there's a fight going down over there. Anyway, what are you? What are y'all doing? Hello? Y'all are just a couple of hazmat suit motherfuckers, huh? All right, just chilling, chilling on the Kona. Hello. Would you like to speak with me, sir? Guess not. What's in here? Okay, apparently it's just a little side door. <coughs> Good times. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on over here, but gunfire does not sound like a friendly situation. This is a big area. Your boy gonna get lost for a little while, though. You didn't see that? You didn't see that. Damn it. He saw that. Fuck. Crap. Where the fuck did he come from? Oh, my God. Police, man. Uh, well, I might as well finish what I started then. Get that full blood. Oh, there's this guy over here just chilling in the corner, too. Shooting at me? Is he shooting at me? I just don't know if he's shooting at me or if there's other gunfire going on. I'm just gonna wait and find out. I know it said police are hunting. Wait to seal. Wait to. Yay, they gave up. Cool. That's what I was waiting for. Alright, cool. So the gunfire had nothing to do with the cops. There's just a fight going on. Again. Gonna avoid the fight for now. Hey there. Need a date? Not really. I'm going in here. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just walking around at this point. <laughs> Nines told me to meet him somewhere. That's the only thing I really got. Mm, I'm gonna go with this probably isn't where I'm supposed to meet him. Um, wow, this doesn't even say anything. Well then. Yes? May I help you? Uh, yeah, I need some gray matter glue. Farewell. <laughs> Apparently you cannot help me. Not right now, anyways. Hello. I'll scream. Go ahead and see if I give a shit. Oh, maybe this is where Nines is at. What I doubt more? it. Whatever. There's a bunch of whores up in here. Hotel horse. What up, guy in purple shirt? No. No. Out of my way. Don't tell. Don't tell. What, I, people around here are so rude. Hello. Uh, do you're not supposed to be here. Uh, <laughs> you're not supposed to be here. No, I, I really don't understand. Okay then. There's a lot of people around here. Wait, can I go in there? Oh shit! Going in the men, women, men, women's room. Going in the stall. Nope. It's the first batch room I've gotten to go in in the game. Guess we'll have to do some drugs in here later. Some other time. 
Yo, Spartaxos, what up with it, dog? How you doing? Employees only my ass. Last time I checked, I'm in here. Wait, there ain't shit in here, though. Lame. Your employees only room is boring me. It's the break room. Fuck your coffee cup. Oh, there's a computer here. Hello. Whoops. Uh, is this sweets, please? Password. Hack it. Well, got it. All right. Let's check out the Albany suite. Also, you're checking in from Nepal, Spartaxos? That's pretty sweet. Like this Albany suite. The Albany suite first floor is available. Next reservation Sunday. Okay, so Albany suite's available. Got it. What about the Queen suite? Queen suite is occupied. Guest Anders Johansson. I'm guessing I'm going to need to find somebody in here later, like when I actually have a quest. I'm looking up things for nothing. Manhattan Suite is available. Ithaca Suite. Occupied by Ashley Jones. Brooklyn Suite. Occupied by Jezebel Locke. The Buffalo Suite. Boris Chekhov indefinitely. Oh, okay. By the way, I already forgot what the password was. Oh, well. Uh, guest logs. A different password? A few. Alright. Power. Chekhov B. Steak and Lobster, $80. Pay-per-view, Planet La Femme. Ooh. Wow, you can actually, like, keep track of their fucking expenses. That's... She didn't buy anything. Jones A. Bottle of Champ de Chateau. $290. That's expensive. And that boy didn't buy nothing either. All right. Well, I guess I shall return when there's quest that require it. Also, hello. Yes? May I help you? I don't know. Do you not seem to give a shit that I just came out of your employees only room? Apparently not. <laughs> He's like, how may I help you? Uh, may I help you? It's the only words I'm programmed to say. I don't know why. I don't know why. Dude, Sorry, I, I heard the music, but I didn't know there was a fucking concert going in. Look at that chick on stage. She's going off, bro. I don't think so. You're going a little too hard for the slow song that you're singing. I'm just saying. Anyway, you got anything to say about this, sir? No. I guess that's a no. Liam Neeson says no. For some reason, his voice reminds me of Liam Neeson. I don't understand. That girl needs to work on her dance moves to go to the rhythm to the song that she is singing. I have failed. Lock of four? You know what? I'm going in there. The dancing in this game is incredible. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. When we were in the club earlier, it was just as good. Uh, sorry, I wanted to zoom back out. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing all this right now. I really should be trying to find some quests first before I'd be doing, like, sneaking in and breaking into shit. Because I'm sure all this is going to be requir required to get into later, you know? Like, that's locked anyways, so it doesn't even matter. Wait. Oh. Fuck your mic stand. Well, whatever. I need to just leave. We need to find somewhere to go. We need to preferably find people to talk to and learn things and make progress. Because exploring is pointless when you don't have any headings. Because I think it's harder to find stuff and do stuff when it's not there's no objective in mind. Didn't I have to visit LaCroix? I do have to visit LaCroix. That is what I'm here to do. My log thing didn't say... Oh, wait. 
Do I actually have to click on downtown? No. I guess not. Yeah, I have to go to Venture Tower. That's where I need to go. Venture Tower. Venture Tower. I don't know where that is. This is the hotel, not the tower. That's a scary cat sound. There's the Nocturne Theater. Hello? Whatever. Wow, she answered her phone with whatever. What a horrible human being. Are you? Confession? Ooh. Hello. I'm here for confession. Whatever. Alright, so I guess I can't go into the sewers yet anyways. We probably just need to start making some progress here. Can I talk to you? No, no I, I really don't know what this time. Alright, Liam. There was a fight going on over here, but now there's nothing but dead bodies. My body. Hollowbrook Hotel? That don't seem like the spot neither. You know say where the fucking spirit the tower is. I don't know, I'm kind of exploring, but I don't know where I need to be right now. Is there a map? Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. I don't think there's a map. How do I know what the Venture Tower is? It's not that giant red one that goes to infinity, is it? I'll go in here, sure. I don't know. I think the map is on an actual street like a sign. Yeah, probably. You know what? This place looks way too spoopy and way much way too much going on. It may be the right place, but let's find out. <laughs> I also might need to take a quick bedroom break. Although I also need to decide how much longer I'm gonna go for. That's the real question. Let's find some signs, like context clue signs. Tell me where to go. Because that's the Hollow Brook Hotel. This place is huge, man. Things will be great when you're downtown. These hazmat guys everywhere worry me, though. They're having a baby sale! Venture Tower, Venture Tower, where are you? There's the last round. That's where I can meet up with nines. Found that place. The Venture Tower is that big-ass tower that goes up into the sky, probably? Alright, well... That's kind of what I figured when I saw it. It looked important. It looked like it was going to be a thing. So I might as well go check that out. Because there's a lot of things to do here. And I feel like going out and exploring all of them is pointless. Until I actually have some things to do. And have reasons to do so. And I'm really hoping we can go shopping. And maybe get ourselves in some new outfits. Because man... This skirt is nice and everything, but it would be nice to change it up a little bit. So is this Venture Tower that was literally the place I started 
right in front of. Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably because it's literally right here in front of where I started. <laughs> it's literally the first building in front of me where I lo loaded in. Of course it is. Dummy. Wow, it just says look wall right at the fucking desk too. Hello. You uh look familiar, Missy. We haven't met before, have we? Oh yeah, back in Santa Monica, right? Ooh, I don't know what came over me back there, but now I got this sweet night shift position and I'm happier than the time I met Superwoods. Ah <laughs> well, enough about my lucky break. You uh here to see one of the big wigs, Missy? Uh uh I'm here to see LaCroix if he's a big wig, I guess. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Uh, you have no idea. I have no suckling youth. Sebby. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Cool. May the fat myth mini creatures fill your belly. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting or uh, whatever it is you type to up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. <sighs> Officer Chunk, what are you a chunk of? There's a bigger piece. I will stitch your name in the brain. I'm going to say the first one, because that's fucking hilarious. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days <laughs> at the station. Stationarium. <laughs> that was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot. <laughs> that was me. Wow. His fantasy football days at the stationarium office supply outlet. Loving it. I will stitch your name in my brain. Goodbye, Chunk, chunk Master. Going in. This place is kind of creepy and cool. I like it. I like the ambiance. It's creepy. It's real creepy. PH. PH. Placeholder. Holy moly. Well, I guess I'm here. What's up, peeps? There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Yes. Done. Boom. Done. Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Um, bloody Mercury, two faces, diner assassins, wolf people. There were no explosives on Mercury, but I found some. I'll go with number one. Yes, yes, I'm sure it was quite an experience. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? What kind of reconnaissance? What shall I spy with my little eyes? That's all I'm going to say. Fuck you. I'm not jumping off any cliffs, but I will press number one. There have been whispers. Rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? Nope. You hear them too. I mean, uh, uh, continue. The police are investigating <sighs> the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now... I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. Oh, um, okay. Help me understand then. You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus, in fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. 
Do not under any circumstances open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Ooh, we're opening it. Secondly, For sure. The police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Uh, more than you know. Uh -huh. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Um, uh, he wants me to find him at the last round in, in this field of massive rectangles. <laughs> I see. Then, you should go humor the by-the-numbers rhetoric he's so desperately aching to spew. Oh, please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kind. I am gone. I love humoring. I am there. Give the Anarch community my regards. Done is good. Okay. Well, that was fun. Anything else I can get out of this Give guy? Give the Anarch community my... Uh, hee hee, good one. Okay, so I guess... Can we talk to this big dude over here, though? Big man is scary. Can we talk to you? Whew, before all is said and done, I think big man and me may have a little bit of a tussle. He's just there to be intimidating and scary, but I feel like we might not, might not be done with it. Anyway, what's up, Cold Moon 23 How you doing? Welcome to the stream. I am a Malkavian, you are correct. And this is my first playthrough, also correct. I guess we're done here. It immediately teleported me to the door, so... We have a quest! Do I know that Malks are spoiler clan? Not really, but I do know that I didn't pick Malk. I randomly chose the... I, I filled out the questionnaire, and it chose Malk for me, so... What are you gonna do? I went true blind. I didn't try to pick one and figure it out. I just was like, I'm going to do it. Let the game pick for me based on the questionnaire. I didn't know what I was going to get. I didn't even look at what the different possibilities were. I literally just straight up talked, filled out the thing and it picked for me. Oh, here's a sign. Although this is... Oh, wait. You can actually look at this. Ah, okay. This is sort of helpful, I guess. I didn't realize I could interact with this thing. You are here. Adventure Tower. All right. So, I already know where last round is that direction. I guess I could go do that right now. Well, Malks can spoil stuff all they want, but not if I don't know anything about the game. So, the only way I can really spoil stuff is if people tell me it's spoiling something. I mean, you can say it right now, it's fine, but like, if you read it and you tell me what it meant, then you're spoiling it for me by reading what I'm reading. That's all it really is. It's like spoiling something that you don't know what it's spoiling, you know what I mean? You're just reading words and you're like, oh, that spoils something? Oh, okay. I wouldn't have known. And if we just leave it like that, we'll be good. They most they, they, they know stuff they aren't supposed to know? Well, exactly, that's my point. How am I supposed to know what I'm not supposed to know? Because I haven't played the game before. If you think about it that way, it makes perfectly good sense that this isn't really a spoiler class if you don't know anything. Anyway, what am I doing right now? Oh, I was going to go to my quest list. I'm getting distracted. Uh, the prince wants you to investigate Elizabeth Dane. Before you do, he wants you to contact Nines. Let's go talk to this guy, then. We know where to go talk to him. Let's do it. I'm just trying to get to a point where I can start like walking around and finding some better quests and stuff. I'm sure I could already find something, but let's just push the story forward a little bit longer. I'm only probably going to play for another 10, 15 minutes, maybe. I'm almost done here tonight. At least with Vampire. I'm probably going to take a break for a little bit, eat some dinner... Maybe do some... I don't know. Maybe? Eh, maybe dinner. I kind of want to record at least one Fatal Frame tonight, though. At least one. Just one. Because I'm going to play some more Fatal Frame tomorrow. But I don't have another episode for of it for tomorrow. Anyway. Yo, Nines. Shit is loud. Nines! Malks of the true stealth clan? Well, I'm not very good at that either. Hello, lady. Did I didn't say nothing. So that chase you in here, Cammy? Uh, mm, you are the damsel of distress, yes? I'm damsel. 
Someone talking shit about me over in that ivory tower? Who said it, huh? I'll kick their ass. I, uh, uh, I didn't. Um, the only words spoken were in my head. Lunatic. <laughs> give you a piece of my mind. Seeing as how you're just another do girl for the Camarilla. Shit. No amount of good sense penetrates that white noise you mouths call a brain, does it? Um. Uh, something is plaguing me. What? Weird you say that, yeah. You might say something is plaguing me. A plague bearer, as a matter of fact. Uh, plague bearer? This word is unfamiliar to me. A plague bearer's a thing that doesn't care who they feed from. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We can't get sick, but the kind can. And kindred that feed on them start spreading disease. And that gets sick, it's an epidemic. CDC's in town as we speak. Okay. Can't you just shoo the dirty carrier pigeon away? Seen old yeller? May sound cruel, but it's necessary. If someone puts together two and two as to the real cause of an outbreak of bloodborne diseases, guess what happens? So the plague bearer's gotta be found and put down. If the Camarilla really gives a damn, they'll help us out. Uh, okay. My neck... Uh, what? My neck... O's. Sorry, the way they do W's all crooked like that throws me off. My neck owes a debt to the Anarchs. What shall I do? My blood body bloats with boredom. I will do this. Uh, let's do the number one. One of our boys' ghouls, name's Paul, lives nearby in the Skyline Apartments. Been a stranger lately. Looked like death last time he was here. Said he didn't get bit, but maybe you can get more info out of him. Okay. I will touch this ghoul in his mind's secret places. Naughty. Wait, if Paul's not talking, you might want to start questioning the homeless pop. So many have been dying lately that it takes the city a few days to pick up the bodies. Okay, then. I will spread my mind around the City of Angels. See you, damn sail. <laughs> what did you just well, don't mind me. I make terrible jokes. Damn sail. Anyway, nines. Well, if it ain't the talk of the town, host a child for Camarilla Benevolence. What does the prince have his little bitch doing today? Ah. Uh, the jester plays his little games and sends his little pawn before him. Jester? What? What the hell did you say? Hold on. You're not capable, right? You double screwed. Crazy as hell and the prince of the bitch. Little pawn, you say? I seek he the name of numbers. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Greetings, Helter Skelter. <laughs> I'm doing that one. My name is Skelton. I do my part to keep California a free state for the Anarchs. Cool. Um, I seek he of the name of numbers. So then go on up and see it. You're free to do as you please. Bitch, yeah. you're the one that stopped me. When I get to the bottom, I'll go back to the top of the slide. Farewell. Alright. You're the one that fucking stopped me, bro. Anyway, this is him, right? But also, I see this guy. This dude's awesome from the beginning of the game. We'll talk to him in a bit. You showed up? Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. 500 times? Uh, uh, there are words spilling out of your mouth, you should close it. No, I want more! You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with... God only knows what plot's in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. I'm looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes, and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to as this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Um, aren't we all just one big happy family named Camarilla? The prince is not the head of Empire? I would leave my head to listen, but my body must go, and they are set. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Rebel without a clue. Don't you understand yet? Um, I'm gonna just say number one. Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest load of horseshit a man ever heard. Okay. Let me hear your truth, then. I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffer. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. 
Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what LA has been. An anarch free state. Okay, free state. Well, I usually just walk off with stuff anyhow. Let's go with that. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left. Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. Huh. Meet with them. Baloney all around. <laughs> Stupid fucking shit. <laughs> you and the prince don't golf on the weekends? Are you the prince of thieves and are these your merry men? Oh, I have to say the first one. It made me laugh too hard. I got that meeting right here. <laughs> you and the prince don't golf on the weekends? Isn't this where your theme music kicks in? I'll go with the number one. He looks pissed, though. Look at his face. Jesus, he looks weird. The Croy represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. Uh, okay, well, are you the Prince of Thieves? Don't use me and Prince in the same sentence, Malk. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't fitted or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. Okay. My mind is still soft. Any shape I should set it in. Is this a comedy club? This is all a joke, right? Come on, where are the cameras? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of death. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't going to save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. True that. Teach me the razzmatazz. Oh, I love that. After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah, I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this, and keep your body at an angle. Makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists, and put your weight into your punches. Oh, shit. Stat increase. Let's go. I like that. Go with number one. You poor bastard. Listen, LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Ick, squishy. Alright, cool. Let's talk to this dude real quick before we're done here. Well, well, look at who made it back in one piece. How it's Santa Monica, kiddo. Uh, sights I was not there to see. The lady was sad and beautiful. I followed the bloody road I was set upon. What do you seek, demon? I'll just go with number two. Yeah, I'm sure it was a stroll on the beach. So did you score a lot of skee-ball tickets down on the pier there? They did not have skee-ball. No. I whipped around the wooden ball, but procured no prize. Let's go with that. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. I'll be too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you. Am I right? You right. Right as a red rain. I've trod more terrible roads. Right as Red Rain. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive. Huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> uh, Nine swooped in like death on Demon's wings. The Jester has sent me to the Elizabeth Dane's ship of slaughter. Know you of the Elizabeth Dane, the ship of slaughter? Why? Planning on visiting? The prince sends me to its hellish hole. Oh, really? Uh, that is my path. The sarcophagus. Did LaCroix tell you about the Ankaran sarcophagus? Only shadows of secrets. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. Tell me more of this curious coffin. The word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers, one of the vampires, that if you trace your lineage way back, there's a chance it'd end up with him. So you're saying Dracula's in there. And for centuries he's been sa sawing logs. Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away. And when they wake up, they're hungry. Ah, and such a horrendous hunger he will have. It's more than that. You know. Most kindred think it's one of the signs of the end. The apocalypse. Every religion has their own version. 
kindred call it Gehenna. And the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. Uh, okay. Uh, is this real or a wives' tale? No one knows for sure, really. That's just a word that's been handed down through the ages. The Camarilla denies these ancients exist. Okay. Lies slip easily through from truthless tongues. Well, kiddo, I guess you're gonna be the one to find out. <laughs> hey, good luck. Try not to wake Grandpa Munster and kill the world, huh? <laughs> uh, why did the Jester send me to Ma Santa Monica? Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. Okay. Why would the Jester hate this little fly? It's bullshit, Camarilla Law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. Vampire population control, fashion crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. Don't you follow the codes of the Camarilla? Ah, <laughs> oh, kid, I never answered to no man in life. Now I sure as shit ain't taking orders from a vampire with a suit and a funny name. And when I die again, the devil's gonna have to cut me a deal if he wants my ass. Besides, I never trust anybody with an X in their name. Same, dude. So why was has the spider not killed this little fly? Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Venture are born in a poor room. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Right. Have you public pro have you public pro relations propensities? Yeah, man. It's called kicking ass and crushing the skulls of any asshole who steps on my toes. That seems to work. People dig it. Why does the Jester fear the Shadow of Nines? Isn't the he chief? LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in LA. That's it. <laughs> LaCroix is a boss. <laughs> That's rich. Okay. Uh um, I'm gonna go with, do you not count yourself among them? The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. What the hell that means? Anarchs. Does got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I seek knowledge of these Anarchs. Children of Entropy. That's us, so I'm told. What do you want to know? How long have they raged against the machine? Yeah, I can tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. What's any of that shit mean, anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? Power is in knowing the past. I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. Seen more and done more than most vampires ever will. I don't know that our situation's ever gonna be easy. But some things you gotta decide on what fighting for. Uh, um, um, how to win such a Gordian game? Fight harder than the other son of a bitch. Every time I yank a jawbone from a skull and ram it in an eye socket, I know I'm building a better future. <laughs> <laughs> this guy talks a lot more than I was expecting. Anyway, does Nine share your grizzly visions? You bet, kid. Okay. Is Nine the chief of the Anarch tribe? As much as anyone is. Nine's is a stand-up guy. Takes the politics a little too seriously, though. Came up during the Great Depression, so his brain's wired to that shit. Makes sense. And the rest of the wolves? Yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of them. Okay. And what blood runs in your veins? Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. Bruja. Uh, I think I'm done talking to you, dude. He has a lot of info and everything, but that was a long ass conversation. Anyway. Uh, Helter. What's up? Sip. Um. You gotta understand, Kendra. You're carrying a six thousand year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel. Okay. What curse do you speak exactly? That blood is a tangle of chains that's going to leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. Your words are a gelatinous jumble. Your elders command the blood. They control the blood and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call. But the blood will. And it'll make you obey. Well, fine then. How do I break these chains? That shit stretches all the way back to Some ancient sleeping in a tomb half a world away has a bad dream, and you gon' feel that shit. Like it or not. Can't wait. Do you speak of the Dark Father? Cain, man. Father of all vampires. Killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity feeding on the blood of his children. 
Some heavy shit, sister. I see. Do you believe in such a boogeyman? Keep your voice down. Okay. I would like... I would offer him a worm-free apple, but where do you go with these words? The point is, with this curse pulling your strings, you really want to sign away your right to fight by joining the Camarilla? Uh... Yeah. The Camarilla just ain't necessary. Their rules is just common sense shit. The masquerade and all that. Sure, it makes sense. Like the Ten Commandments. You know the Ten Commandments, don't you? Thou shalt suck my... No, I'm just kidding. My head is a burning bush. <laughs> yeah, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. Sounds good, but you and me both know that shit don't always work. What if some society like the Camarilla comes along and just up and kills you if you break one damn commandment? For real, though. Uh, I seek a path more structured. Your words wear truth like a well-fitted truss. Right. See, we weren't meant to live like that. Right. I someone else's rules for three years in Vietnam, but it wasn't until after the embrace that I understood real oppression. For show. Sure. Uh, okay. Your words are lofty, but you yield, kneel to nines. No one bows to nines, Rodriguez. He leads by example, down here with us. Better than some chicken shit, limp wrist paper pusher hiding up in his tower. And the camel with a sheep couldn't see the difference. Okay. <sighs> Do you also hide behind the masquerade's veil? This is a long. These are long ass conversations, man. Feel good about myself. The masquerade is a fruity camarilla lady. Other than that, I ain't got no problem with it. Live and let live. We got enough to worry about. Hallelujah and holy rollers. You know, speaking of the masquerade, I just thought of something you might be able to help us out. Oh boy, quest. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Come on, well, tell me the answer. There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. She's a ghoul of this one Toreador creep who disappeared. What's the name of this ghoulish girl? Her name is Pamela. She hangs out in the clubs downtown. She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. It was all fun and games until her vampire sugar daddy stopped calling her. Now she can't get her blood fixed and she ain't so fun no more. Okay. Tell her that sugar daddy has lost his sweetness. Man, she's been told he was dead. She don't listen. Just ask again loudly. Scene and get us all some real heat. Uh, what heat do you speak of? Vampire hunters, man. You start doing stupid shit and breaking the masquerade, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Trust me, hunters are the kind of trouble you don't want. Have you seen Blade? Anyway, tell me about this prickly problem with ghoulish Patty. She's crossed the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this. We'll keep it our little secret, you hear? Um. Uh, alone, you must solve the puzzle of Patty. I'll just say I will serve the shielder of entropy. All right. Have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know it's silent. Just let me know when it's done. You got it, dude. I'm out. Okay, so after, after all that talking to that guy, I finally got a quest out of it, at least. That's good. Anyway, I'm going to go outside this door so we have the music stopped, and I... I'm going to call this a stream cuz I'm freaking I need to I need a break, man. I need a break. I'm going for over 4 hours on this game alone. And I'm getting kind of hungry. Like I ate a sandwich and stuff earlier when I took a break, but I'm getting pretty damn hungry. Like for some like a dinner, sit down, go eat some food, you know? <sighs> but anyway, yeah. Game is saved, but I'll probably still do a real save right here. So guys, Vampire the Masquerade. This game has been pretty fun so far. I'm getting kind of into it. I'm enjoying the voice acting is really good. It's getting kind of exhausting when the conversations get really long, like those three freaking conversations I just had. It's rough when there's a whole group of people you can talk to in the same room, and you're sitting there talking for 20 minutes. But anyway, hope you guys are enjoying my playthrough so far. Um, hopefully I don't run into too much of the issues that other YouTubers are running into, where their playthroughs are being taken down on YouTube, but I can't really... Uh, do anything about that if that's the case. All I can really say is hopefully you're tuning into this live or watching the VODs on Twitch. And uh, if it ever goes away on YouTube, oh well, we'll have to just live with it. Um, yeah, but anyway, enough about that. Um, that's all for Vampire Today. Next time we're going to explore this town and do some questing. So let's 
just say I'll see you guys then. Peace out.